Hey everyone, I'm so excited about this video because this is one of my obsession videos, which is all about masks. I have so many masks and I truly love using them. So I'm gonna to try to keep this long video organized and I'm gonna start with some clay masks, move into hydrating masks, and then talk about some brightening masks and then some miscellaneous ones. I also have some hybrid masks that I'm gonna kind of work in between and then I will list them all below, okay? All right, so let's start with clay masks. Before I jump into it, please make sure you know that when you are using a clay mask, any type of clay mask that is, once it starts drying to the point where it hurts to smile, it's gone way too far with the clay mask. So the ones I tell you about, I'm actually gonna talk about how long it'll take before it dries and maybe which ones you can get more time on your skin with before it dries too far. If you do want to keep your mask going, there's always ways to do that. You can spray an essence or a hydrating mist over your mask as you're going, and that'll give you a little bit more life out of your mask. So one of the clay masks I've been using is by MV Organic Skincare. This clay mask is a little unique in that it comes in a powder form, and then you activate it with water when you want to use it. It only takes a couple teaspoons at a time to cover your entire face, so this does last you quite a while. One thing, it is really good for sensitive skin. It's a very gentle clay mask and it's a very thin viscosity as well. It does go on very easily, but I do have to say because of the thin viscosity, that little guy does dry very, very quickly. So you gotta keep an eye on that one. The next one is actually a very budget friendly clay mask that people don't really talk about too often. And I don't know why. It's actually by L'Oreal. L'Oreal made these great little clay masks. They actually have three different kinds and I have to tell you, personally, I've tested them. They all feel like they're pretty much doing the same thing. They're just taking off that excess oil and dirt in your skin. They're very, very cheap. You can find them at your local CVS or Target or anything like that. And I believe they're like around 12 bucks a piece. So really inexpensive and they do last a long time. The only thing I would tell you is they also dry very easily. Even in the container, they dry easily. So just be really careful when you're using them that you do tighten them back on. And that again, you do wash your skin. So as it's drying, right before that point of it actually getting to that hard feeling, you all know what I'm talking about, that's when you wanna take it off. If you let it keep going, it's actually gonna start sucking moisture out of your skin instead of just sucking the oil and dirt off of your skin. So that's why I'm trying to caution you. These little L'Oreal masks say you can leave them on for 10, 15 minutes. I don't think I've ever made it for 15 minutes without having to take them off. Um, one clay mask that I am completely obsessed with, and I think this is like my second jar, is Kiehl's. They came out with one called the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. It's made with white clay. It's a very gentle clay, and it does an amazing job of cleaning out your skin, and it actually does not dry quickly. It does linger on your skin, so you get a little bit more time of it getting rid of any impurities on your skin. This one you actually want to apply to damp skin, as the other ones you actually want to apply to dry skin. Um, and you can leave this one on for about 10 minutes, and it, usually you can make it the whole 10 minutes with this guy on your face. A final mask, I know I've been talking about Mahalo Care a lot lately because I have been playing with their product and I have been completely obsessed. If you have not heard about the bean mask, from Mahalo Care, let me excite you a little bit about this one. Uh, this one is an amazing mask. It has, it has cocoa and coffee extract, and this is all natural ingredients in here. It smells absolutely amazing, and I love applying it to my skin. It's a very thick texture, actually. Like, it kind of almost resembles brownie batter. It's a very thick um, it actually does not dry quickly at all on your skin, but it does have little granules in it as well. So it kind of does a little exfoliating, um, a little hydrating, a little purifying. It does cleanse your skin. This is kind of like a hybrid mask for me. So it's not just a clay mask. It does a, so much more than the other clay masks I mentioned. Uh, this one, again, I'll put a link down below, but it is a current obsession of mine. Since we're kind of on the route of some hybrids, um, with a clay mask idea, uh, I have two products that actually took the clay mask and the hydrating mask, blended them together into this beautiful, harmonious mask. Uh, one of them I've already talked to you guys about, but I want you to know I'm still using it. It's the Evloam Rescue Mask. I'll link the video down below. 
absolutely love this mask. It has clay, it has honey, it helps release any impurities in your skin, it brightens, it depuffs. This is one of those miracle worker masks that I know I will have on my mask counter for a very, very long time. So still loving this rescue mask. Other one that is very similar to the rescue mask, but is gonna cost you a pretty penny. This is the Honey Mud by Mae Lindstrom. This is only their sample. I bought their whole collection. And so I got little samples of all of their stuff. I do have to say, I am obsessed with their Honey Mud. Um, I am going to buy the full size. I have cleaned it all the way out to the bottom. One thing I love about this Honey Mud mask is I feel like it never dries on your skin. So it will purify your skin, it will hydrate your skin. You can even use it as a cleansing balm if you want to. So tons of ways to use this beautiful product. And it smells heavenly. Oh my goodness. Like, oh, I just love getting in a bath and putting this on my skin, knowing that it's not gonna dry up and I don't have to like rush out and get it off of my face. Just glorious. All right, so from clay, let's shift over to hydrating. So for hydrating, Sometimes I do leave a clay mask on a little too long and my skin does get irritated. For that, I usually try to find an aloe mask that just purely just hydrates my skin. I know Peter Thomas Roth makes an aloe mask. That's pretty good. Um, but Kiehl's also came out with one. This is actually one of their newer masks. It is an aloe soothing hydration mask. And it truly just feels like you're putting aloe on your skin with a little boost of soothing power in there. I would recommend this to anyone and everyone, especially if you have sensitive skin. Sometimes I have tried masks out and they react very poorly with my skin. You need to have a rescue mask nearby. That is all it does is just gonna soothe your skin and calm it down. This one has worked brilliantly for me. I will always have this guy nearby because I experiment a lot with masks. Again, a few more hydrating masks. I know I've already talked to you guys about the intensive revitalizing mask. Uh, this one is a leave-on mask. You leave it on for around eight minutes, and then you can wipe off the excess and continue with your skincare routine. Bobbi Brown actually made one very similar as well. This is their skin nourishing mask, and again, it's just a hydrating mask. This one you're also leaving on for only about five minutes, and then you're going to tissue off the rest, massage it in, and then apply the rest of your skincare routine. Again, these two are just extra boosts of hydration for your skin. Maybe you are flying a lot or traveling a lot like me, or maybe you just need to give your skin a little TLC. Sometimes just giving it a layer of hydration that you don't have to rinse off, but that you can leave on really does your skin some good. So if you are looking for a leave on hydrating mask, um, I've been using these two lately. A mask has been helping me to soothe my skin, but also hydrate it, um, kind of like a little hybrid mask is again, Mahalo Care. They came out with a mask called The Petal. This one has actually been a cult favorite for a while. This is not a new mask of theirs, but it's like this bright pink color. It smells like someone just gave you a dozen roses and it is ultra nourishing and calming for your skin. Rose essence, rose oil, everything roses have always been used to calm down your skin. And this mask is no different. It is calming, it is hydrating, it is soothing. It does not dry on your skin. Again, there's no directions on it anywhere, but I'm going off a of memory here and I think you can leave this one on for like 25 minutes. So this is a lovely, luxuriating mask. So if you are looking for something to help soothe your skin um, and hydrate it, I would definitely go with the petal mask from Mahalo Care. All right, so let's move on to detoxifying and brightening masks. Um, one of them, actually, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of. I kind of barely use it, but I at least want to bring it up. Uh, this one is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Mask. It smells completely citrusy and fabulous. Um, I feel like I'm putting marmalade on my face when I'm using it. Um, but I do have to say, I don't really see the vibrancy when I use it. Just not digging this one. I don't, I'll finish using it, but this is not one that I'd probably repurchase. One mask that I've already told you guys that I am in love with is another Kiehl's mask. This is their turmeric and cranberry seed mask. I truly love this mask. It is a wonderful product that will give you that instant boost of radiance. I love using this mask in the morning because it will give me a light exfoliation to take off any dead skin cells and then it will brighten my skin and I can get 
to work with the rest of my skincare routine and makeup application. It's just a great all around mask and it is not expensive at all. I think it's like 30 bucks for this little guy and it lasts a very long time. Another kind of hybrid mask is the Maybelline Some Problem Solver Mask. This one will kind of exfoliate your skin, but at the same time brighten your skin as well. This one is actually a powder that you would add equal parts to form a nice mousse and then apply it to your skin. I can't say I'm really in love with this mask. I don't think this is one I would repurchase, but it is a very nice mask. And of course it smells wonderful and I like that you can activate it as you use it. Uh, but this one just, just not for me. Since we're talking about brightening, I have to mention the Lomer brightening mask that they came out with. Uh, I know I just did a video on it, completely love it. I try to use this one every other night if possible because unlike some of these, like this one by Kiehl's, I do like it, but it's just a quick hit. It's like in the morning, it'll kind of help energize and brighten your skin. But then by the end of the day, it just dissipates and I mean, it's a mask. But this one by La Mer is more of a skin treatment where it's a serum on top of a mask that you leave on, it lingers on your skin and really helps you in the long run to help give you that clearer, brighter skin overall instead of just that quick hit in order to make your skin look better for that moment. All right, so one last mask I wanna talk about is exfoliating mask. Uh, you guys know that I am not a fan of the exfoliating mask from La Mer because it leaves a white residue all over my skin and I find it very, very frustrating. So I actually did find a mask from May Lindstrom that has that same exfoliating idea. This is their Clean Dirt. Again, it comes in a powder form that you add water to to activate it. It forms into a mousse. You can brush it all over your skin. One of the nice things actually is you can take all three of these little masks and layer them on top of each other and leave it on your skin for an hour. And when you wipe it off, your skin is just gorgeous. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Like I would have to do a before and after for you guys to see just how amazing the results are by combining these three masks. Um, with the clean dirt, I know because of the moussey texture, some people think, oh wow, it's such a mild exfoliator. But I do have to warn you, this one is a pretty tough mother. It will totally wreak havoc on your skin if you use it too often. So just be really careful that you're only using it to what your skin can handle. And I know mine is more sensitive, so I don't wanna project that out there, but um, be careful with this little guy. All right, so that's all the masks that I'm using right now. Again, I probably use a mask every night, if not every other night, and I am truly in love with the mask that I'm using. If you guys have a mask that you're like, Jamie, have you tried this one? Please let me know below, and I will definitely try it. Even if you guys are on the fence, maybe you wanna buy a mask, and you're like, hey, Jamie, try this first. You got it. So let me know, and thank you so much for letting me tell you all about my love affair with masks, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.